Oh, so good morning, guys. This is um, this is me getting ready to go butcher some animals today. So um, yeah. I need to get dressed and get my hair and stuff done. So uh, this will be the first time butchering my rabbits. First time butchering rabbits. Uh, not the first time that I've helped butcher. Uh, some of our livestock, we butchered some of our roosters uh, a long time ago, and I will admit I just sat there and cried. I helped pluck the feathers and catch some of the chickens when they got loose, but uh, I did I did cry, and I'm not afraid to admit that. I do get very emotionally attached to my animals, whether it be livestock or pet, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, um, it's natural to, you know, get attached to something you've cared for, but it's a, it's a natural process, and it's it's, it's natural. Uh, we as humans cannot just eat something straight off the animal. We do have to process it in a way so that we can eat it. However, these guys can so when I butcher my animal, and I'm going to try and film it the best I can, uh, I might cry. I will admit that. I might cry. I did get attached to these animals that I did raise by hand and take care of. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but uh, butchering is a necessary part of farming, homesteading, and animal husbandry. And the hardest part about homesteading, farming, and animal husbandry is when you have to cull or when you have to butcher an animal you have raised. And there's many reasons as to why you will do that. So, that being said, uh, I will be butchering them today. And I will be doing my utmost to make sure that everything gets used and nothing is wasted. Um, I may not have the materials and tools to do all of that now, but most definitely in the future, um, I would like to make sure that I have uses for everything. The fur, the bones, the meat, most definitely. Um, and what I'll be doing is, we'll be making food for the carnivorous animals on our land, like these guys. Right now, I feed them on raw organic beef because I don't really like the canned cat food. Um, and I'll be doing the same for the dog eventually when we're able to produce that much. So, after butchering the rabbits today, they're probably going to get some raw rabbit. Um, the insides and the meat will be kept for us. So, I will do my utmost to make sure that everything gets used. Uh, and nothing is wasted. So, uh, I guess enjoy the video. Or maybe glean some information about it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're butchering rabbits today. Uh, Dad's going to help me since this is my first time. And he's done it before uh, in basic training. So, he's going to demonstrate how to do it. And then I think I'm going to try and do it after that. First, you got to get the rabbit calm. So, with your club, you're going to gently stroke him. So, these calm. You hold him with back legs. And when he's calm, you're going to come right straight down the back onto the head with a quick strike. Let's get this over here because that's going to be a thrashing bucket. So he's got his ears back up and ducked his head a little bit. Want to get him calm. And you have to be calm too, because they'll sense if you're jittery. I don't know if I actually got him in throw or...
don't like hurting them. See how it's bleeding out now? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, as you can see, I don't want to be gross, but you can tell that they've actually started bleeding out now through the nose. So, sorry to make you... Sorry to give him any kind of suffering, that wasn't the point. But you can tell he's gone to totally limp at this point, and he'll go through throws in a little bit. So at this point, what we're going to do, so he starts to go. This is the, this is an unfun part. So, if you're squeamish, don't watch these. And put on a shackle. So that when we're ready to You got a way to do that. You got to make sure it's clear above their heel at their ankle. Okay. Sometimes they take a little longer. Than I can't promise I'm going to do this right the first time, but I'm going to do my best not to, not to make him suffer. I'm sorry? Yeah. He's about as calm as you're going to get. You just need to make sure that you get a good clean hit. Go. A lot harder than that. I told you I can probably do it this way. You've got the strength for it. Oh. Okay, hold me that bucket. I don't think I got him. I'm not get, it, get it above the bucket because that's going to get in your way. There you go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it take so long. It's all right. He's not bleeding yet. Don't want to have happen though is that they pool too much in there. 